Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Drinking by Yourself. Today's episode is brought to you by Miami New Times and presented by me, Ben Potts, from Beaker and Gray and The Sylvester. Today, we're going to be making an extra special quarantine punch. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing is alcohol. Yeah, so we have some Pisco and some German brandy and some Zwac. So the Zwac's really good. Uh, it tastes like Hungary, the country. Next up, we have sugar. Sugar is a staple of society. It comes in a yellow thing. You can play the drums on it. It's sugar. It's really good. It's so sweet. Next, we have tea. I like tea. I like Jojo tea. It's good. And you need that for punch. And you should definitely make tea. Okay, let's keep going. All right, next up, the uh, thir- third thing, I think, uh, is citrus. Do you need some sour stuff? I made a citrus blend with lemons and oranges and grapefruits. I think I have some limes, but I juiced them all. Okay, moving on. And the fifth thing, I think, is water. So you need to have some sparkling water. It's nice because it's bubbly. And bubbly stuff is really great. So use Topo Chico because it's nice. It's the one with the little top. That's what that means in Spanish. Okay, so first you're going to need a bowl. It's punch. It always goes in a bowl. Everyone knows that. All right, any kind of bowl will do. This is all I got. So, you know, let's use that. Next, you're going to want a measuring cup, something where you can read measurements. It's like a giant jigger. Think of it that way. It's great. Okay, after that, you're going to want a ladle. It's for scooping the punch out of the bowl and into a cup. Pretty obvious, I think. Next up, you need a juicer, a a juice squeezer. Get one of those if you don't have one. Okay, also a strainer. Strainers are really good for removing pulp and other things you don't want in the punch. Finally, a spoon, a long, sexy spoon, like this one, is what you're going to want to use. And of course, you want an ice mold because you want ice in your punch bowl so you can keep it nice and cold. Okay, so now we're ready to make the cocktail. So get your bowl, make sure it's clean and empty. Let's first put the ice cubes in because if you put them in at the end, it makes the splashing thing and nobody likes splashing punch around unless, you know, you're into that kind of thing. Okay, let's get our uh, mixing glass. No, wait. It's not a mixing glass. That's actually a measuring cup. Okay, first, we're going to put the tea in. First, take the tea bag out, because you don't want to put that in your punch. And pour your tea into the mixing glass. Er, that's still not a mixing glass. It's still a measuring cup. Okay, and we don't have quite enough tea, so you can make up for tea with water. Just add a little water, and you want to get it around 200 milliliters. Okay? In ounces, it's like six ounces or more. Learn metric. It's, it's good for you. All right, pour the tea right in. Next up, we're going to have our second ingredient. It's going to be our simple syrup. I put rosemary in mine because I'm fancy. You can do whatever you want, any other herb or not. You can just do regular sugar water. If you don't know how to make simple syrup, I made a video about it a while ago. So, you know, give it a shot. Again, you're going to want to do 200 milliliters. Now, remember when you're reading a measuring cup that you look at it from eye level. You probably learned that in science class. If you didn't, you probably didn't go to a good school. Anyway, all right. Next ingredient is our citrus blend. I used uh, lemon and limes and a little bit of grapefruit, and I used this to make the juice. If you need to know, learn how to use a juicer, you probably can't make a punch. So... Grab your strainer and pour the juice through the strainer until you get 200 milliliters. I pre-measured all these, so that's why it's so perfect every time. Okay, pour that into your punch. And, yep, just pour it right in. Look at that. It's already shaping up to be a great punch. Okay, next ingredient. We're going to use our uh, Pisco. Uh, why not? Because Pisco is cool. I just had it lying around. So um, it's delicious. And also, I haven't opened it in probably like five years. Pour in some alcohol. 
The idea is you want to pour in a roughly 200 milliliters of alcohol. If you want it boozier, you just add a little more, like 300 milliliters or 400 milliliters if you're a real lush like me. This is German brandy. I don't know why I have German brandy. Oh yeah, because I went to Germany, bought it. That's why I have German brandy at my house. Don't ask me why. Uh, I don't know the answer other than that. Okay, a little glug glug of that and we're good to go. Oh, and we can't forget about our swag. Swag's kind of like a Hungarian Amaro. Um, it's good. And a little, a little dab will do ya. So just pour in a tiny bit. There you go. You don't want to overpower the punch with a bunch of weird tasting Amaro. All right, so now I'm at about 300 milliliters and I'm gonna pour it in right on top. Okay, so we're gonna give it a, a quick little stir uh, just to get those ingredients incorporated. And uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot the Topo Chico. Okay, so Topo Chico or any kind of water that you wanna put in there, you just wanna, you know, do it to taste. Um, I think like 100 milliliters is probably good. Maybe 150. I don't know. I didn't measure, obviously. You don't have to either. You can do it to taste. You remember, you can always add more Topo Chico. You can't take out Topo Chico once you put it in. Okay. So I want a little more Topo Chico. And I'm going to stir it in to make sure it's nicely incorporated. Mmm. I'm really excited about drinking this punch. And my right hand is sticky. That's why I keep wiping it off of my pants. Okay, so finally we're gonna garnish it. I pre-cut these nice slices of grapefruit because I juice the other half of it. So we just lay them right on top. Um, this is gonna be for myself and I like feeling fancy. So I like to garnish my punches that I drink by myself. Okay, a little rosemary for the rosemary that's in the punch and that's gonna be really, really tasty. Okay. So, look at that punch. Yum yum. I can't wait to drink the whole thing by myself. Which is what you do when you're drinking by yourself. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the quarantine punch. As always, thank you so much for watching. We love you. See you soon.